Hi, I'm Juliet. Gary Oldman directed a music video for a Jewish hip-hop band, which he shot entirely on cell phones. He asked me to direct the making of, and when I saw the footage that I'd gotten, I realized I had a unique perspective into Gary's creative process. I approached him and asked if it could develop into a short documentary film. In these interviews, I'm talking to other artists who I admire about their creative process, and like Take Flight, hopefully shedding some light and showing them a little bit differently than they've been seen. So tell me a little bit about your process. How did you become an actress? I actually became an actor because when I was in junior high school, uh, I was doing a play and somebody said to me at lunch, what do you want to do when you grow up or something to that effect? And I said I wanted to be an actor and they laughed at me. And it so pissed me off that I, I know it's like so stupid, can you believe it? It was completely ego driven. I said, oh, okay, though I'll have to do this. What is the project you've worked on that you felt was the most like a kid playing? Armin and I did a Hamlet together. We played Gertrude and Claudius. And it was a not kid play, but it was teenage play because our belief was that they were so hot for each other they couldn't keep their hands off each other. And so we behaved like we did when we were first dating or like you do the first time you fall in love with somebody respecting Shakespeare's text, but we fell mad, gobsmacked in love with each other every night. So that was like kid play. And it was kind of great for our, our marriage because we had that ticket. We'd like be all over each other and then we would take it home. It was good. It was really good. When something comes together for you as an artist, mm -hmm. what does that feel like? I remember one time I was playing softball and I, I'm an outfielder and I went out for this ball that was way out past me and the ball almost fell into a garbage can and my glove went into the garbage can and I came up with it and rolled over. And I know that's a weird thing but that's how I feel as an artist. When I let go, I'm not anymore thinking about my technique or my preparation or any of those things. I'm just out of my own way and I'm like flying. It's, a, it's an incredible feeling that doesn't happen very often but when it happens you almost don't feel anything. You just exist on a different plane. Take Flight shows Gary in a way that he hasn't ever been seen. Yeah. What do you think is the biggest misconception people have about you? Because I think most people who n know me know me from television, and they mostly know me as a doctor, a lawyer, a judge, or a, sometimes a funny doctor, a lawyer, a judge, but mostly a doctor, a lawyer, a judge. I think they don't know that I'm a deeply silly human being. I mean, I'm, a, I'm an incredibly silly human being. We get a rare POV in Take Flight as Gary operates one of the cell cams mm -hmm. that we would never get with a traditional camera. It's like we're inside his head and we're seeing through his eyes. If I gave you a cell cam, what would we see? The inside of my purse. Because <laughs> I like I said before, the misconception that I carry sort of briefcase looking purses a lot. So from the outside, I look like an organized human being. But the inside of my brain is chaos. And I think that's, if you were looking through my world POV, you'd see creative destruction. <laughs> okay, so I have this film and it's about Gary Oldman, Jewish hip hop and cell phones. How do you think I should market it? It's hard because it is ostensibly about Gary Oldman and Jewish hip hop and cell phones, but it's really not. It's really about what it is to be an artist. I wouldn't ask Honey Baked Ham to be your sponsor, I don't know. <laughs>